Today I will discuss some of the postural drainage positions which we use in our pulmonary rehabilitation program. These positions could be used in inpatient setting and outpatient as well for removing the sputum from infected lungs. The first position is used for the anterior upper segment or we can say that anterior apical segments which position is called semi recumbent position in which the patient head side is around 45 degree this is used for the apical segments removal technique the therapist will provide percussion or tapping over the supraclavicular region and ask the patient for the discomfort and guide the patient for the regular and the continuous respiratory active respiratory exercises like huffing coughing and the deep breath and then expiration techniques the second position is called the posterior apical segment position which is approximately 90 to 100 degree of trunk flexion and sitting position and a pillow underneath the patient's knees The therapist will provide percussion or the tapping over the upper trapezius segment of the muscle. The third position is used for the anterior segments in which the patient is lying supine. A pillow underneath the patient's knees and the therapist will provide percussion over the pectoralis major area. The fourth position is used to reduce or to eliminate the sputum from the right posterior segment. The, the patient will be on the side line. The right leg will be crossing yours or the patient's left leg. And it's better to have a pillow over the right arm and to provide percussion from the posterior aspect of thorax. the next position is used for the left posterior segment in which the therapist provide percussion over the posterior aspect of the thorax the patient is lying with the bed side on the 45 degree of angle which we use in the, uh, also for the anterior apical segment the therapist will provide percussion over the posterior aspect of thorax and Uh, and guide the patient for the active pulmonary exercises the next and the sixth position is used to eliminate sputum from the right middle lobe as the picture demonstrates the patient is lying supine but obliquely towards the opposite side and a pillow just behind the right scapula lobe the therapist will provide percussion over the anterior and anterior anterior and inferior area of the right lung the head side will be below from the leg side the leg raise of the bed will be approximately 12 inches the next and the seventh position is used for the left lingular area as we know that the left lung has only two lobes the upper and the middle lobe so the left lingual lingular area is just the lower area of the left lung the patient is lying supine a bit tilted towards the right side the bed side the the bed side raise from the legs will be 12 inches the therapist will provide percussion over the just below the nipple area and uh, this below the nipple area and, and guide the patient to perform the active pulmonary exercises the next position is called the anterior segment of the used for the lower lobes the patient is lying supine a pillow underneath his both knees the therapist will tap on the middle of the thorax with the both hands or provide the percussion and guide the patient to perform the active exercises the next position will be for the right lateral segment the bed the bed raise from the legs will be approximately 18 inches the therapist will provide percussion on the right side of the lungs just around the lower inferior angle the lower inferior angle of the scapula the next position is for the lateral left lateral segment the left lateral segment 
the same position, the patient will be on the right side and the therapist will provide percussion on the inferior border of the inferior angle of the scapula of the right side. <coughs> The next position, the second last position is used for the posterior segment. The patient will do supine line and the pillow underneath his thoracic abdominal area. The therapist will provide percussion on the both sides of the lower inferior angle of the scapula. The bed raised from the towards the leg will be 18 inches and the pillow has a travel road just below the chain bone. Last with the superior segment, the removal technique is used. The patient is lying in the front position. Front position, a pillow just for the thoracic abdominal thoracic area, abdominal thoracic area. The patient is from a, a travel bone under the tibia or the shin bones. The therapist will provide percussion around the bombites of major and minor area. This will help to eliminate and to remove sputum from the lung cavity. Just remember a few indications that always try to check the blood pressure of the patient before applying these posture ganesh techniques. If the patient is hypertensive, be cautious to that because increased blood pressure could lead toward excessive blood flow towards the brain so it can cause a major injury to the brain. So always try to check about the hypertension and secondly history of fall or the rib fracture and if the patient is in ICU or comatose try to uh, follow up uh, his consultant as well as uh, try to check the radiological findings of his thoracic cavity and expose the area of the patient for checking any drainage or any tube around the thoracic area. These are some of the precautions which have to take before performing any chest physiotherapy. Posture drainage technique. Thank you.